Thanks, everybody, for being here. It's great to be around so many current and future leaders here in this room, so I'm happy to be here. 345. It's a number. It's not my favorite number. It's not the number of pizza slices I've had this year, although it's close. It's not the number of internship offers my mom claims that she thinks I'm going to get. But in reality, 345 was the number of days that I was unemployed following my graduation in 2010. Through a combination of the recession and frankly my own stubbornness, uh, my career got off to a really bad false start. If we are the sum total of our experiences, to paraphrase John Paul Sartre, I, my experiences have taught me a lot about who I am. If I'm elected as career development officer, I will work tirelessly to ensure that what happened to me doesn't happen to you. Now, I'm not looking to radically transform the COC and accelerate. I recognize that I'm more of a bridge that you know, wants to help them work more effectively with you. I've spoken to some of you who have told me that you felt unsupported by your counselor, and so you felt like you've had to kind of go it alone at times. And that shouldn't be. What if we promoted the other ways that you could give feedback to these groups, other than, say, the yellow cards? What if the first day you came on campus, you got sort of a hard copy roadmap to first year recruiting right in your portfolio, so you could hit the ground running many one? What if the emails that were sent every week were actually formatted in such a way that you could find what you wanted very quickly? <laughs> My campaign is all about meeting you where you are. Strengthening the ties between ourselves, the COC, and ALC, it's important to building the Tepper Network, not just for ourselves, but for future classes as well. In that way, all of us in this room can be a part of something greater than ourselves. I think back to my admissions interview when I was asked, what is your proudest accomplishment? For the past three years, every Tuesday, I've worked for a suicidal hotline, helping young adolescents find reasons to look for a better tomorrow. If I'm elected, I will likewise put you first. Because it's one of my core beliefs that lifting others up who have helped me is the one way that I can give back to a community that has given me so much. Just like, like those kids, we all just want a better future for ourselves. And like those kids, we can't, and I won't, allow anyone to be left behind. 345 days. I can't think of a better way to spend my next 345.